the, the highly coveted. How did it feel to get tweeted by Kanye? And has he reached out to you at all? Um, uh, very cool to be tweeted by Kanye. Um, I think he tweeted because he, I know he's really interested in architecture, and he, I think he really liked um, the inside of the f Fountain Blue in Paris. So I think he was as interested in like the setting of the, of the video as he was in the song. And um, uh, no, he hasn't reached out, so I think he just likes the video. My love life? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. Um, he's, he's really nice. He's in music, but not a musician. Um, and interesting guy. <laughs> Lately, I've been revisiting um, some books that I read a few years ago. Um, I was reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. He studied Andrew Carnegie and Rockefeller and sort of how they came to be where they were at the point in their lives when he was studying them. Um, so what else? Um, yeah. Nobody really um, found anything intriguing about me for many years. I think it was just time probably to start looking at somebody else. And I mean, I am a good musician and I love to sing, so maybe people just um, liked the songs. You know, it's like when you love to write and you love to sing and people don't really pay attention to your music for a long time, it's an honor to have anyone appreciate it, whether it's, you know, someone in politics or a good musician that you like. It's always a really different kind of experience when you go from doing things alone for a long time to having recognition from um, other people that, you know, you consider to be talented. It's fun. Will you still love me when I'm not